these guys drink a lot. <laughs> and they drink a lot of a lot of different stuff. Dramatically, what's great about that and what's great about liquor in the play and on stage is it allows for very fluid mood changes. Uh, a lot of times when you're playing characters, uh, everyone says, oh, well, it doesn't make sense for me to get this angry this fast. I've got to build up to that. Or I, I wouldn't go from laughing to crying this fast. But as we all know, once you get into uh, the level of drinking that these guys are doing, it really lubricates a play and allows for mood shifts, allows for uh, melancholy, allows for uh, camaraderie. Um, and as we all know, you know, we, I've said in, in teaching classes that uh, a lot of times actors make the mistake of thinking that when you, when you drink that that makes you dark and ugly, but really everybody drinks for the same reason and it's because it makes you feel good. I guess, and so that's where it starts, and, and certainly on a Christmas Eve, in a celebratory um, situation, these guys don't need many excuses to, uh, to imbibe, but on Christmas they have a real excuse to, and, uh, and it really allows unguarded moments, it allows for characters to reveal things that they might not otherwise reveal when they're sober, so it's a wonderful dramatic device, and, uh, and it really allows for vulnerability and, uh, and all kinds of uh, exposure that, that a character m might not otherwise go to if he was in full control of his faculties. <laughs>